Spring is just around the corner, which means the time is going to change. Sunday is daylight saving, which means you will lose an hour of sleep, but this change could have an impact on your health. We have health educator Dr. Eric Griggs joining us this morning to explain why springing forward can impact your body and your brain. Good morning, Dr. Griggs. Good morning. We talk about this pretty much every year around this time, and it's important always to, to rehash it and, and explain that, you know, we always are so grateful when we get that extra hour of sleep. We always groan this time of year when we lose it. How does it affect your overall health? So the incidence of cardiovascular events or heart attacks goes up by 24% in the week after daylight saving time. Wow. Uh, it's a disruption in our sleep schedule, which is our circadian rhythm, which can be a disruption in hormones, which can lead to mood uh, disorders and possibly even depression. I mean, that's a lot for just this daylight. And I know there's been this push in recent decades to just, just do away with it altogether. And I think there was something allowing uh, individual states to decide if they want to abide by it, by it anymore. And when you talk about, you know, when you talk about time, it gets a little tricky. It's, you know, it can be almost like <laughs> mess your brain up just trying to think about why we do it. But uh, I know that this, like you said, it can mess up your circadian rhythm. So is it, what's it, what should you do to try to combat that? I mean, I, obviously going to bed an hour earlier would help you. Yeah, you, you can prepare, but first a little bit of history. The It actually started in 1918 uh, for during World War I in an effort to save energy. So they started with daylight saving time. Uh, there was an experiment in the 70s where they tried for a couple months to eliminate it and they had too many kids in the dark and within two months they went back to it. Mm -hmm. um, Again, it's losing that hour of sleep disrupts your circadian rhythm. Uh, if you know it's coming, the thing you can start doing is what we should have been doing prior to this, yeah. uh, is working on your sleep hygiene, yeah. uh, changing your sleep schedule. Uh, you know what really helps is getting an eye mask, um, mm -hmm. the blackout mask. Yeah, no, you had one. I showed you brought it in. We talked about sleep, uh, I want to say, a couple weeks ago. And it, it works amazingly well, um, just even regardless of whether or not it's daylight savings time, but it helps to regulate and take control of your, your sleep. And, and again, sleep hygiene, we talk about that a lot, just the importance of having a set, uh, kind of a recipe, I, I guess I should say, or a, a certain schedule when you're going to sleep, a pattern that you follow that helps you wind down. I know that I've heard recently that going to sleep in a cooler room is a good idea. It helps you drop the body temperature so that you can fall asleep quicker and trying to eliminate those other distractions like your phone and your TV. Yeah, and really, I'm telling you, I, I just keep talking about the eye mask, the eye mask, the eye mask. Not only uh, do I talk about it, I am a client. I bought an eye mask, got yeah. it on an international trip, and I've been using it ever since. Are you working for big eye mask? <laughs> Absolutely, right, 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 big eye mask. Right, exactly. uh, um, but uh, you, you, you sleep better. Again, you need to go through four cycles of the, the stages of sleep, and they're in an hour and a half a piece. So you want to try to get six hours, solid hours. If you can't sleep, get up, get out of bed. That's another thing, too. People think you could just lay there eventually if you're feeling restless it is a good idea to just get up go to the kitchen get a glass of water or you know do something just to shake things up so that you can reset get back in bed yeah to just reset get back again uh, again it's daylight saving time understand that your sleep patterns are going to be disrupted start you whatever you can to establish order in the blackout mask also you know I'm a big believer in just exercising makes me tired so regular exercise makes you feel like your body did something, so you're tired at the end of the day. You can actually fall asleep. Exactly. As long as it's not within three hours before going to sleep because you'll get that energy boost. And don't drink coffee too late in the day. Gotcha. All right. Thank you very much there, Dr. Eric Grizz.